As we reach the end of another school year, I want to send a message really quickly to students. It's been a busy year and I know too at times it's been a really tough one. Thanks for all your hard work and for persevering through the challenges and congratulations on everything you've achieved, whether that's been mastering a new skill, learning a new sport or just making a new friend. I know some students will be moving on to new adventures next year and to you, I want to say all the best. I'm sure everything you have learnt this year will help you as you navigate through whatever's ahead. Finally, please make sure to say a huge thank you to all your teachers and to all the staff who work hard each and every single day to make your school a great place to be and to ensure you have the very best education. Have a wonderful summer holiday. You've all deserved it. Hi there, it's Liam Finn. I just want to send a huge congratulations and good luck for next year to all of Year 8. You did it, you closed the chapter, you're about to start a new one. Uh, I remember the time fondly, full of nervous excitement, newfound freedoms, um, finding your people. It's, uh, it's going to be a wild ride, but if there's any advice I could give is just don't let the intensity or the pressure of high school get to you, it's all going to be okay and enjoy finding the things that you love and the things that you love to learn about and be kind to yourselves. Um, learn to meditate, look after our precious mental health and the people around you as well. So anyway, on that note, I wish you all the great experiences and fruits of life. Hello, hello, hello. Mike Chan here. To you, Hamilton West youngsters, your time is up there, you're moving on to high school. The high school years are the years with massive opportunity to take a deep breath and try things. Going for it right to the top. And I wish you all the best in the time ahead. I remember my high school years. They were adventurous, imaginative, and rewarding and I'm sure that'll be the same for you guys because I've seen your energy and your commitment all the very best hi my name's Felix I play drums and Benny and I just want to wish all the year eights uh, heaps of good luck for entering high school next year if there's any word of advice I'd give is trying to leave everything for the last minute and focus on one thing at a time. Looking very relaxed is 19 year old Eliza McCartney. This is at a lifetime best height, Eliza McCartney. Whoa! Over she goes and into the lead, Eliza McCartney. Kia ora Hamilton West School, my name is Eliza McCartney and I'm really here just to say a big congratulations to all of the Year 8 students who have finished Year 8 and are heading into high school next year. I, I assume it's going to be a very exciting time for you guys, it was certainly exciting for me when I was your age. So a big congratulations for finishing up Year 8 um, and a good luck for high school. I know it's been a couple challenging years but I hear you guys have done an incredible job of getting through and being very resilient. Uh, so I'm sure Year 9 is going to be great for you all. So good luck and enjoy your summer holidays. Hello, my name's Matt Heath from the Radio Hodaki Breakfast and this is my co-host Jeremy Wells. And we've just got a special message we want to send out to Hamilton West School, the Year 8 leavers. And what is that message, Jeremy? Well, you know, as a man with 25 years broadcasting experience and a 45-year-old man, I, I was looking back on... Year 8 and where you're going in year 19, 11, 12 and 13, I, I would say this. To thine own self, be true. Um, I'd ignore that. Uh, to, to thine self, be carpe diem. To the most extreme measure you can, year 8s. Give him a taste of kiwi from me.
Kia ora Hamilton West School, it's close personal friend of Mr. Holt, Sharon Casey from the Edge here. Happy graduation! Now I've been asked to give you some pearls of wisdom before you go to high school. Now I'm going to give you some pearls of wisdom. Work hard, enjoy yourself, and don't be anybody apart from you because you are awesome. And when it comes to your friends, it can be a confusing place in schools, but guess what? Quality over quantity. And it's better to have one awesome friend than a bunch of friends that don't treat you very nicely and don't let you be yourself. So be you, have a good time. Merry Christmas. Kia ora, my name's Matt Walker and I wanted to send a message to the graduating year eight students from Ham West. Um, I went to Ham West Primary School a long time ago, 30 <coughs> something years ago, don't need to talk about that now. But I do know what it's like to be in your last day at such a big chapter and I know that it can feel really overwhelming. Um, but I just wanted to say congratulations, it's, it's so exciting, you should give yourselves a big pat on the back and I can tell you that you just have so many amazing and exciting chapters awaiting ahead for you, it's really awesome. And if I had any advice, it would be that everyone in your class is so different in the best possible ways and you know, you know the thing that you're good at. Um, and it could be anything, it might be academics, math, science, it might be sport, it might be music, and for me it was performing arts. But it's that thing that you're good at and you know what it is. And all I could say to you is keep doing it. Keep doing it as much as you want, just, just do it. Because, because I can tell you with 100% certainty that you can do whatever you want to do with your life. So congratulations, namahi, have an awesome summer, and peace. Kia ora, I'm William Ray. Kia ora, it's Wim here from the Aotearoa History Show at Radio New Zealand. Um, Mr Holt tells me you guys have been watching our videos at school. I'm really stoked to hear you've been enjoying them. Um, I know you guys are heading off to high school next year, which is a big and exciting move. I remember being really excited um, when I went off to high school from intermediate. Um, I hope some of you are going to my old school, which was uh, Hillcrest High School. And if you do, um, make sure you say hi to Mrs Binks, who's my old, old drama teacher. Um, but yeah, have an awesome time and best of luck. And yeah, hope you hope you have a great time. Ka kite. One day you'll understand how much you have me. One day you'll realize we have it easy. If everything turned out as we had said, we wouldn't have to sit here talking much. Hey, kia ora, year eight at Hamilton West. Jason Garrison here, hi. Um, hey, Mr. Hulk got in touch with me and said, hey, do you mind just singing us a song and um, saying a few words for our students who are moving off uh, into high school? I would say, mostly respect time. I know you're only very young right now, and you're like, man, a little bit of time in the world, and you do, and you should love it, absolutely. And, Respect time. Respect everything, actually, but especially time. People, totally. Uh, respect your passion. I wish I had been... Uh, I wish I'd followed my passion a bit more when I was at school instead of following where my mates were and just going with their classes. Uh, but things turned out right, so that's life, right? Um, that's really all I have to say, is... Follow your passion, look after yourselves and one another, and respect time. And so cometh the hour. Well, any normal situation, Grant Fox, uh, you'd back him here, but uh, we think he's been, and uh, the lack of rugby he's played, and the occasion, it's as big a kick as you'll ever get. Well, he has kicked 95 points. He scored 95 points. And Tess Rugby, here's his kick. 
And he's nailed it. Hey everyone, Ed Ham West, uh, especially your year eight crew that are off to high school next year. Beaver here. Hey, just want to wish you all the very best. I uh, know you guys have had a pretty challenging year and a uh, whole different reasons. Obviously, it hasn't been easy missing out on so much stuff during a schooling time. It's been a pretty crazy time. Everyone's been living through, but uh, let's hope it only gets better from here and uh, whatever the future holds, give it heaps and uh, appreciate your teachers and everything that's been done for you at Ham West and uh, all the best. Cheers. Tyler, for everyone, it's Ty uh, here. Um, I was at your school earlier this year, and I just want to say a huge um, congratulations on getting to the end of year eight. I wish you all the best for your coming journey going into high school. The best advice I can give you is make sure that you fail and fail heaps. The more you fail, the closer you are to succeeding. Don't be scared to fail because everybody that's ever succeeded in life, they fail heaps. So go hard. Um, don't give up and keep giving it your best. You never know until you try. Have an awesome time and an awesome holiday coming up. Let's go. Hi Ham West kids, Harold and Amy here. We've got some advice for you. Well, some suggestions. You're heading off to high school next year, which is really, really exciting, right Harold? Mm-hmm. What sorts of things do you think these kids need to know? To be themselves? Absolutely. Harold talks all about kids being unique, don't you? That's your favorite word. Yes, not wrong, just different from me. Be your own weird selves. Enjoy all of it. Be unique, have fun, you guys are all cool the way that you are. Best of luck. Never faltered. Never faltered once throughout the day. Found gaps on a regular basis, then hit through the onside, pick up a single, sprinted through, the crowd got to their feet, and so they should have. Simply one of the best from one of New Zealand's best. Hi, everyone. Um, I just wanted to wish, wish you well for, for high school next year. Um, enjoy the challenge. I know it's been a, a tough few years for for some of you, and uh, I just wanted to say try and be positive and look forward to to what the the future holds. Uh, I found a quote the other day that I that I quite liked, and so I thought I'd um, I'd leave you with this: the bad news is time flies, but the good news is you are the pilot. All the best. Kia ora, Ham West Year 8s. Um, I'm so proud of you for making it to the end of your year, doing your thing, smashing your thing, and sticking with it. Um, far out. I remember when I was year 9, I was cool. Cool as you used to have the slickest, scuxest hairstyle. I was a shuffler, if you know what that is. I was the man. Still am, by the way. But, um, yeah, couldn't be more proud of you guys. Congratulations for making it through your year. Um... I know for a fact that your teacher, Matua Loki, is the man. And um, yeah, I've got a, got a lot of respect for, for that man as well. So I just want to say um, my advice for you is um, when you get out of school, it's a big wide world. The world changes for everything about what you do and everything about what you're growing up to be. So make sure you guys smash that and um, keep at it. Ciao, whānau. <laughs> Being an energy guy off the bench. Bowling up to nine points with five boards. As Pledger, the Pledge Hammer, falls on Sydney. Guys, just to be able to get him off right now. Look like Chris Golding. Hi, everyone. Um, I would just like to congratulate all of you for making it to the end of year eight. Um, considering everything that's gone on in the world over the last couple of years. You should all be very proud of yourselves um, for banking it to this point, as I'm sure all of your teachers and parents are. Um, but yeah, I'd just like to wish you all the best for high school. Um, you're going to have a great time, and I'd just like to wish all of you well. Oh, and a quick shout out to the basketball team. Uh, five years from now, when you, grad when you graduate high school, come find me. I'll be 40 years old then. So hopefully one of you will finally be able to beat me in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. 
Hi everyone, I'm Chris Luxon, the leader of the National Party, and I just wanted to congratulate all the Year 8 students at Hamilton West School. I absolutely love your motto, which is our best always. And actually, as you think about the last few years, you've done an incredibly good job of surviving COVID. You've shown tremendous resilience. You've had to work in lots of different and clever ways, but you've stuck at it and you've managed to graduate out of year eight. Now, for many of you, you're going on to high school, obviously, and that's a great opportunity. And I just wanted to give you three thoughts. The first is get out of your comfort zone and try lots of new things. The cool thing about high school is there's just so many things to do. It was interesting. When I went to high school, I thought one year I'd try the debating club. Didn't think I'd really like it. Didn't think I'd be any good at it. Lo and behold, I did. Uh, and I ended up actually now using it in my day job uh, and as a politician here in Parliament. Turns out you do quite a bit of debating in this job. Uh, but the second thing I'd say to you is also get to know some new people. People that are different from you, think different from you, walk across the room, say hi to that person that may be a bit lonely, uh, and think about how you build a new relationship with someone that just might be that person that you get to know well and you get to become a really good, make a good friend out of it. And finally, what I'd say to you is be, uh, keep everything in perspective. You know, high school is intense, it's exciting, there's lots of new things to master and to enjoy doing. But also, it's really important you don't take yourself so seriously, you take your work seriously, do the best that you possibly can. Yes, you're going to make some mistakes, yes, there'll be some consequences, but just keep it in perspective uh, as you go through your high school years. So, in closing, what I'd love to say is, look, um, think about the people that you need to thank. Uh, you've had some amazing teachers in your time at this school. You've had some incredible parents and, and others that have helped support you and uh, looked after you and made sure you've had everything you need to be successful getting this far through your education. And I think just take the time out to celebrate well graduating year eight, uh, thank the people that have helped you get you there uh, and then move on to focus on uh, getting into a great positive start for high school next year. I feel really optimistic about you year eight students. I think you are really smart. I think the world is in really good hands with your generation coming through. We've got smart, creative people who care deeply about the world and the people and the community they're part of. Uh, and the way that you as young people work together is pretty phenomenal. So you get out of life what you put in. So go put lots in and uh, you'll get lots out of it along the way. Have a great summer and have a great start to high school next year. Take care. Hi there, Year 8 students of Hamworth School in... Hamilton, it's really wonderful to see you. I'm just here to wish you the very best of luck on your educational journey off to high school. It's a really big change, very exciting, lots of new experiences for you to learn. Um, uh, you've been an absolute credit to your school, Ham West, and your teachers, Mr. Holt and Mrs. Sullivan and Mr. Morris. Mr. Morris have done, um, have, are really gonna miss you. They're gonna really terribly miss you when you go. Um, I just got one little piece of advice for you when you go, and that's if you first you don't succeed, skydiving is not for you. All right, well now I've gotta leave you, if you'll excuse me. I'm gonna get on with some important work. Good luck, take care. Hmm. Messy or Naldo? Both. Both. Oh, g'day you rates. We've made it to the end of the year. It's been a tough one, but you guys have done really well. I'm gonna miss all of you. It's been a pleasure getting to know all of you this year. And yeah, all the best, take care, and I'll see you around. Oh, kia ora, right? Good to see you there. Um, all the best, all the best for next year. Uh, you're a unique bunch, um, full of lots of character, uh, lots of talent. Um, it's been really good to get to know you over your time at Ham West, especially those kids that um, I had in my class last year. Um, you'll do great, um, have fun, and enjoy your last couple of days of school. Hi Year 8 school leavers, it's Mrs Prendergast here. For some of you, you will remember me as being your teacher when you first started school. formed many friendships. As you move on into the unknown, remember, 
Always be yourselves. The world will adjust to you. Listen to your instincts and do what you know is right. Every success to you all. Oh, kia ora year eight. I'm um, just reminiscing about the fun times we had a few years ago. Sad to say goodbye to some of you. I'm sure that you are all going to make us very proud of you and you're going to go on to do great things. I still have my mug from one of my favourite students of all time. They'll know who they are. Um, it's been really awesome seeing you grow and change and turn into fantastic young people. And I'm sure we, this won't be the last we see of you and I hope that you stay in touch with us. And all the best. Cheers. Hey, year eights. You caught me uh, on a rainy day. So I thought I'd just uh, pop in here and say, oh my goodness, you're finishing school. What the heck? Well, not all of school, because you're off to high school next year. See, that's how it works. You finish here, and then you move on to high school. I just want to say that uh, it's been an absolute privilege to watch you guys grow. Um, some of you, since the day you first ever started school, when you were teeny tiny little five-year-old, some of you are still pretty teeny tiny. Others of you, not so much. Others of you are about twice as tall as me. Um, but it's been a real privilege watching you all uh, grow over your years at Ham West and representing the Ham West values has just just been so good. Um, it's one of my favourite parts of my job is uh, watching our year eights just become such fine, awesome young adults. So I um, wish you all the best. I hope you come back and say hi. And please remember to carry the school values. Um, rangatiratanga, manakitanga, tanga. Ako and Kaitiakitanga, carry those with you through life and you'll do just fine. Cheer, peace. Wow, the Ham West class of 2022. What a great bunch of Westies. I had an absolute blast teaching you, many of you as year sixes, and have so many great memories from Team 23. Caleb Richards, Millie, Roland, Brohit, Savannah, Matthias. Lily, Sebi the Webby, Shondepol, Avocado, Maraikura, Umanda, Hasanvi, Jark, Aniwaniwa, Kiona, Chelsea, Carnage, uh, Anna, Penny, Sydney, Xavier G, Julia, and Big Nukes. Julia. Yeah, Julia. Julia. Our class song, Hekakano, Mr. Pritchard, being our student teacher. Hi, Daddy. Who is yeah, hey, Sebastian. Hi, this fellow wasn't even here Daddy. yet. Daddy, Crazy how time flies. Alright, Bash had to go. But I hope you all really loved your time at the West. And even though that the time there is coming to an end, one thing that I've really found out is that once a Westie, always a Westie. Look, I can't get away from Coach Holt. He's wrangled me into another video, so here it is. You're going to have a blast at high school. Take up all the challenges that are presented to you, all the opportunities that you see. Try new things, make new friends. Be yourself, be real, be unique, be true, be honest, be humble, be happy, but always be a Westie and do your best always. Good luck. Kia ora whanau. Well, another year rolls along and uh, we farewell another group of wonderful Year 8 students. Um, I said to you at assembly a couple of times about how much the high schools look forward to having Ham West kids enrol in their schools and um, rest assured that really happens. Those principals from Boys High, Girls High and Melville tell us that the kids that come from our school are well prepared for high school and lovely young people. So move on to those schools with pride and know that you will be uh, welcome there. Uh, we will miss you. It's always sad to see uh, a group of uh, year eights move on. I was writing uh, on the first lot of year eight reports last night and um, it's kind of sad in a way when you, you say farewell. Um, and lots of you have been here a very long time. Uh, you have had family here for a very long time and it's uh, it's kind of uh, sad but exciting 
at the same time. It's time to move on, but you are well remembered. Um, those of you that have joined us along the way also um, have contributed and become great Westies in a pretty short period of time. So uh, it's always a, a privilege to be your principal, uh, something I take very seriously, and I wish you all the very best for the future. Kekaha. All right, hello Year 8s. Can't believe we're here, can't believe we're at the end of the year and we're about to say our goodbyes. Um, it has been an amazing year and you guys should all be really proud of yourselves. Um, you have worked incredibly hard, um, you have maintained your friendships and you have represented our school really well. So thank you for all your efforts this year. Um, I've been trying to think of three words to kind of describe this group and um, I've come up with wisdom as one of them. Uh, you guys are creative, you're curious, you have a lot of perspective. Um, another word is courage, you guys show perseverance, you're honest, you just get on with things, you get on with life. Um, and the other word is sociable, um, you laugh a lot, you talk a lot, you interact well with each other um, and you just have a lot of fun, which is great. Um, to my class, room 28, um, I, a highlight for me is the incredible growth that has happened this year. Um, I am truly proud of each and every one of you. Um, you have worked really hard and as a teacher, that's, that's our aim is to see that growth. So it's been really rewarding as a teacher to see that. So thank you all for your efforts that you have put in this year. Um, some of my memories, um, Hunter, the magician, um, Cinder Ella, Dean, the mullet, the glasses, the chocolate club, the chicken picnics, Jared, you and your motivational speeches and um, your competitions with Lily, um, Ava, when she beat Caleb in the arm wrestling competition, um, Sam, and her hair. Um, and I think probably the one that made me cry the most was Logan and uh, your Dave the Diver speech. Incredible. Um, Martin Luther King says that intelligence plus character is the goal to education. And I think you guys have nailed that one. You guys have the intelligence and you guys have the character as well. And it has been um, a very rewarding year um, and I can honestly say that I've had so much fun being your teacher this year and um, I wish you all the very best for high school. To all the year eights, um, some of you have been here since day one and it's been amazing seeing your journey through your time at Hamilton West. Some of you, you've joined us along the way um, and we've welcomed you and you've joined us and you have become part of our team. Uh, so as you head into high school, enjoy the many experiences that you will um, that you will be greeted with. Take it all in, enjoy it, and please, please, please come back and visit. See you later. Well, good morning, Year 8 students. I say good morning because I'm at the top of Mount Mangatoke today. And as I pan around, you can see just how beautiful this mountain is and um, I really wasn't expecting to get up here this morning because my alarm went off at 4 30 a.m and I thought to myself you know what I just can't do it my legs are too tired I need to sleep so I did go back to sleep for five minutes and then I woke myself up and I'm I thought to myself you know what I've got to get up I've got to seek this opportunity and I've got to get up that mountain and uh, say my final words to you all so my final uh, message to our graduating Year 8 students of 2022 is all around the cha-cha-cha. The first cha is all about choice. You have a choice in your lives. You always will. And um, think about all those things that people have said to you, your role models. Make that choice that you feel is best for you. You also have... Um, challenges along the way. Now those challenges are there to set you um, on a path 
And quite often we steer away from challenges because we think those challenges are just too hard. We're going to fail. We're not going to enjoy it. And the chances are you will. You really will. So give every opportunity you can. Um, don't, don't say to yourself, I have to. Say to yourself, I am able to. And the last cha is all about change. So through choice and challenges, we bring change. We bring change to ourselves. We bring change to other people. So go forth, my Year 8 students, um, and uh, enjoy this next part of your challenge. Make the choices that will bring you change and just enjoy yourselves. Um, never grow up. People often will ask you along the way over the next couple of years, I would say you'll be asked this question a lot, and they'll, they'll say, what do you want to do or be when you grow up? And I would like you to say to them, but I'm never going to grow up. Why would I? Why would I want to grow up and make take life, life too seriously? Enjoy every moment you can. Take care, everybody. Hey, year eights, congratulations, you guys. You've made it to the end of your primary school years and you should be so stoked with yourself. Hopefully, I've been able to be part of that journey and help you along your way. A few of you I've taught before, had you as year twos and year fives. Um, and there's a few of you will remember a few stories in year two and, and in year five. Um, one of my stories is you, Samantha. Um, when you sat there at my little white jelly bean table and you said to whoever it was beside you, I can't even remember the child, but you said to them, hey, do you want to play scatterboard? And then you turned around and said, can you scatter over there because I'm bored? And it's just, oh, funny, a year two, you made me laugh so much. Um, Jimmy, year five, mate. You started my year and it's a year five and you just didn't, you just said, I don't want to be the best in the class. And I said to you, Jimmy, I want you to be the best you. Um, and by the end of the year, you took that on and you've run with that. And I reckon you've finished well. Um, there's many others of you, uh, Xavier, uh, sitting there um, in the year two and memorizing all the planets in Māori, just from a poster on the wall. Um, HJ, uh, just asking you, what did you want to be called? And you wanted to be called Himuata, but from now on, you've been HJ. Um, there's just so many memories and I just wish you guys all the best and um, I look forward to seeing you come back and catch up as a high school kid. So all the best, um, it's been cool to be part of your journey. See you guys. Once upon a time there was an ordinary little girl who lived in an ordinary little house but one day this little girl lost her belly button. It was there when she went to sleep but when she woke up it was gone. Year 8s, in 2016 you were in Year 2, and that was the year of our junior production, The Girl Who Lost Her Belly Button. In Term 2 we started practicing our songs, and by the end of Term 3 we were ready for the big night. And what a big night it was. We had so many parents, we could barely fit them in the hall. Caitlin, you absolutely shined with your Oscar winning performance as our main actor. Nikki, Jimmy, Evo, Sebastian, Mila, Madeline, you were all amazing in your parts, and who can forget, Dean is the frog on the log. Aidan, you enabled the production to happen with your hard work as the props master. Everyone worked so hard, and we, the teachers, were so proud of you all. Anna, Ella, Caitlin, Jack, Evo, Aidan, Matthias, Ava, Mila, Rohit, Logan, Chorus, Caleb, Marakura, James and Sebastian. You were my wonderful wise hours of room three, which is now room four. I was recently reminded of the great tadpole disaster of 2016. We started with 10 tadpoles. After every three or four days, we'd come back to a tadpole floating upside down. I think we only had one survive that actually turned to a frog. We were supposed to learn about the cycle, life cycle of a frog, but ended up learning about the circle of life and how to get rid of dead tadpoles. I would try hiding the dead ones in the rubbish bins, but you would always find them. I just want to say how proud I am of you all. You are all truly amazing, and I have just loved watching you grow into such young, wonderful young men and women. I wish you all the best of luck for next year, and whatever you choose to do in life, just remember, like our production, if you try hard and put in the effort, you can achieve almost anything. A one, two, three. I saw you in the street You left me in a state 
Thought you wanted it to last. 